You're not gonna wanna miss this one. Today, we're gonna compare the Ween Pro versus the Eversolo DMP A6 and the Camerjotia CXN100. I'm not gonna hold it up because it's already in my stereo rack. Three streamers, three different price points. Let's see how they sound. Sit down, grab a cup of coffee, and let's talk about these streamers. Today's sponsor is from Sith Audio. That's right. They're back. That's right. Today's sponsor is from Sith Audio. It's the Audiophile's Little Secret. The Audiophile's Little Secret enables us to enjoy our music for longer. And let's face it, most of us are getting pretty old. Many of us are dealing with incontinence issues. Nothing to be ashamed of. It happens to a lot of people and a lot of audiophiles. That's why you should take a look at and test drive Sith Audio's My Audiophile Secret. My little audiophile secret is three times as absorbent as Depends and holds more liquid than one and a half rolls of bounty paper towels. Sith Audio Audiophile's Little Secret also gives off a minty fresh flavor when it comes in contact with any type of liquid or more viscous type of material. They're thin, discreet, Tailor made for today's audiophile at any age, whether or not you're non ambulatory or you're an astronaut and want to drive across the country without the inconvenience of stopping to use the restroom. Sith Audio, my little audiophile secret, are available today. They come in packs of 520. One. And if you order today, you get a free pair of speaker cables valued at over $3 million. Not only do I support Sith Audio's My Little Audiophile Secret, I'm using them right now. Specifications. Well, this is not going to be a very good comparison when it comes to the old Weem. Why? Because I gave my Weem Pro Plus away to a friend and I only have Weem Pros, which means the DAC inside, not very good. So it's not really going to be much of a comparison. However, I am going to hook this up to the SMSL SU-1. The AKM4493 DAC chip is inside the SU-1 and it's really good. So total price for the Weem Pro and the SU-1. $230. The Eversolo DMP A6 comes in at $859 and is a bit of a darling. This is based on an Android operating system though. Basically it's kind of like an Android phone stuck in a case that doesn't make phone calls, but it plays all the music. The Cambridge Audio CXN100. I did a dedicated video. If you want to check that out, I will put it right here. That comes in at $1,099. So we have a small, a medium, and a large. Or maybe it's good, better, best. The Eversolo DMP A6 comes with two ES9038 Q2M DAC chips. They use two to minimize crosstalk interference, whatever you want to call it. Claimed THD of negative 120 dB. Claimed signal to noise ratio of 128 dB. Claimed dynamic range 128 dB. All sorts of things on the back. Hardwired Ethernet, HDMI out, USB out, optical in, USB C in, coaxial in, single ended RCA out, and balanced XLR outputs. Weem, it's got a single RCA output. Optical in, optical out, coaxial in, coaxial out, and a line in, so this can actually handle an analog inputs, which interesting enough the Eversolo does not. So the Weem Pro can actually be used as a full-on preamp. The Eversolo has two DAC chips. The CXN100 from Cabernet Audio, I don't know if it has two DAC chips, but I do know that the DAC chip inside the Cambridge Audio CXN100 is the Sabre 9028Q2M. The DAC chip inside the Eversolo DMP A6 has two 9038Q2Ms. Both of those DAC chips on their own come in about $16 and $19 respectively when I looked them up on Mauser Electric's website. You can buy all sorts of stuff. So if we're just looking at cost of the DAC chip, pretty close. We also need to take into consideration 
the distribution of the Eversolo DMPA6. There is US distribution. I can't remember who they are, but I talked to them, I believe, at the Capital Audio Fest. But generally speaking, if you're buying it off of Amazon, I think you're buying it direct. There may be a couple of retailers now. The point is, the Eversolo is a bit of a direct model, even though now they have some traditional distribution. I guess what I'm saying is the Cambridge Audio has to include margin for the retailers, and that's gonna have an effect on the price. Cambridge Audio CXN100 also comes with a two-year warranty, three years if you register it. And it looks like the Eversolo DMPA6 has a one-year manufacturer's warranty. And keep in mind, if you do have an issue with this, you're sending it back to China, probably. Unless they've created a US-based service center, this one's gonna get boxed up and go across the pond. The Weem, I have no idea what the, war what the warranty on that is. However, if you have a problem with it, uh, I know Weem, they usually just send you another one. So if we're comparing warranties, Cambridge is the big winner. <laughs> They all come with their own respective apps, and they all are a bit similar. Now, Weem comes in with the most options when it comes to native app support with music streaming services. They include Amazon Music Unlimited, as well as a cacophony of other ones. The DMP A6 from Eversolo is a little bit different. Since it's Android based, you are actually downloading the actual music streaming services apps and once again since it's just like a phone you're kind of interacting with the streaming apps exactly like you would on an android phone the cambridge audio cxn 100 is similar to the Wii from the standpoint that it has its own app it does not include amazon music natively but you have Chromecast and you have Apple AirPlay 2, which the Weem also includes. In my opinion, the app that is the easiest to navigate is the Weem, then it would be the Cambridge Audio followed up by the Eversolo DMP A6. That might not be a bad thing though, because the DMP A6, there's gonna be a prevailing theme that there is a lot of different options that you can do from a setting standpoint and from a setup standpoint with the Eversolo compared to the Weem compared to the Cambridge Audio. From a simplistic standpoint, the Cambridge Audio is probably the one that has the least amount of options on setup. That may vex you or that may please you. Depends on you. Thank you so much for watching this video. I appreciate each and every one of you, but I know about 40% of you are not subscribed. So if you aren't, please consider hitting the subscribe button where it's either here or here. You can do it, just hit the subscribe button and like this video. Maybe check out some of my other videos. We're closing in on 900 total videos on the Cheap Audio Man channel, which is bonkers. Chances are there's something out there that will interest you. Thank you for watching. I had these hooked up to the Advanced Paris A10 Classic, which is my favorite integrated amp ever created. It's awesome. It's $2,500. It's expensive, but it's worth every penny. That was going into the Sonus Faber Lumina 2 Amateur something, which is again an awesome speaker and a little bit pricey at $1,500, but worth every penny. Actually, I think $1,500 for that speaker is a bit of a deal, a bit of a steal, really. Which that reminds me, I need to fill out the paperwork to pay for those. So I was running analog output of each device into the A10 Classic. Now the A10 Classic does have balanced inputs. So I tried it with single-ended RCA inputs for everything because the Weem only has a single-ended output. And I compared the DMP A6 balanced output with the Cambridge Audio CXN100 balanced output, they both claim to be truly balanced on the outputs, the XLR outputs. Now the Weem with the SU1, actually pretty decent. Not as good as the DMP A6 or as the CXN100. I just felt like it was a little bit closed in from a soundstage perspective. 
Sonically, if you were running a very affordable system, you're probably not gonna be able to hear as much of a difference. The true magic with the CXN100 and the DMP H6 comes from the rest of your system, really, because it's the source. So if you have a really good source going through maybe an amp that can't resolve it into speakers that can't resolve it, well, then you're not gonna hear any differences. However, with this system that's coming in around $4,000 just for the integrated amp and the speakers. If it's a good speaker and a good amp, then you can hear the differences. And I did hear some differences. Whether those differences are good or bad really depends on you, the listener, and what your specific needs and wants are. <laughs> but they sounded pretty similar, which tells me they're pretty good, both of them. Let's just get this out of the way. If you're on a budget, then get the Weem and the SU-1 or really get the Weem Pro Plus. However, I think, and I did a comparison, I think the Weem Pro with an SU-1 sounds better than the Weem Pro Plus. Same DAC chip, but DAC chip implementation is usually in the analog output stage, is usually what really makes a difference when it comes to sonic quality. For me, the DMP A6 was more resolving than the CXN100, and that might not be a good thing. I felt the DMP A6 was a little bit clinical in comparison. What do I mean when I say clinical? Lacks a little bit of dynamics. Lacks just a titch of some baritone in male vocals. And if you read the CXN100 from Cambridge Audio's spec sheet, you'll see that it was tuned. So they didn't just take a chip and then kind of use whatever the status quo analog output stage is. They changed some things. They actually handpicked capacitors. They handpicked components to get it to sound a certain way, the Cambridge Audio way. And I did hear that. If you want just the facts, ma'am, you probably want to get the EverSolo DMP A6 and you can save some money. But with the Cambridge Audio, I felt like it was a little bit more soulful and a little bit more dynamic. But I'm telling you, these differences are slim, minute, scalpel-like differences and if you listen to either one of those products for a long period of time, you're not really gonna be able to tell much of a difference at all because they're both great. One is not better than the other. One may be better for you because of your use case scenario. If you're not super tech inclined, if things, if settings make you frustrated on phones, the DMP A6 is not the streamer for you. It does have a touch screen. You can interact with it. You're touching things. But for me, CXN100, and I'm pretty okay with technology, but I like the simplicity of the CXN100 where you just had the screen. It wasn't a touch screen, but you had tactile buttons that you could play around with. So this really reminded me of a CD player. The EverSolo DMP A6 reminds me of a phone inside a box. And there's nothing wrong with that. Both the CXN and the DMP A6 both can be digital preamps. They have volume control. You're gonna have to control that volume control through your app though. Although I think there may be optional remote controls, maybe for both of them. I think if you're looking just purely at specs and options, the DMP A6 has more than the CXN100. But for my money, I'd actually choose the CXN100 because it is more simple. I feel like there is less barrier between me and musical enjoyment. I had to reflect on this because as a YouTuber, a lot of people just wanna hear which one is the best. And there really isn't one that is the best. There are some products out there that just aren't very good. But for most products, it comes down to what type of chocolate cake do you like? Do you like the chocolate cake from Bakery A? Or do you like the chocolate cake from Sith, the Sith Audio Bakery? It just depends on you. Do you like having all of the options? Do you like having fewer options? The litmus test for me is how quickly am I enjoying the music? And am I gonna use this thing again? There's nothing that turns me off more than complexity. DMP A6, to me, way more complex. There is a bigger barrier between me and musical enjoyment. If you're just into tech, if you like to mess around with settings and things like that, that's great. DMP A6, probably the product for you, and it's more affordable. I feel like the CXN100, though, was made by an audio company. I feel like the DMP A6, was made by a company that was looking at specs and was just checking off boxes and then wanted to say, here, look at this. We have all of these specs where the user experience wasn't concentrated on. 
I know there's people out there. I know my patrons are out there that have the DMP A6 or a variation of it and love it. And that's great. I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm saying for me and probably for the majority of the audience that isn't so technically inclined, the CXN 100 is probably the choice for you unless you're heavy into Amazon Music because it's more simple to use. And I think it sounds a little bit better. Just a little bit more caramel in there. A little bit... There's a little bit more artistry in the CXN 100 versus the DMP A6. But if you only have $859 to spend, then the DMP A6, probably the choice for you. That was a long one. So if you want to support the channel, you can sign up for Patreon. You can check out the links in the description. A lot of those will be affiliate links. You can subscribe and like this video. You can buy me a cup of coffee down at the bottom of the video. There's a thanks button. Throw me a couple of bucks, buy me a cup of coffee, but don't feel compelled to buy me anything. You can also check out my Instagram. It's Cheap Audio Man. I have a tendency to reply to comments more on Instagram than I do on YouTube simply because there's so many comments on YouTube and I just don't have the opportunity to answer them all. Anyway, thank you for watching. So don't binge watch anything on Netflix or Hulu. Binge listen, maybe through one of these awesome streamers and fill your soul with happiness. And with that, I'm Randy. I'm the Cheap Audio Man.